If you're looking at this screen and asking yourself, what the hell am I looking at? Then you're not alone. I know very little about this game, other than that it's partially roguelike, and that it tells a different story and has multiple different endings, depending on how well you do and some of the choices you make. It's also based on Junji Ito-style artwork and horror. I know that because those who sent me this game, actually, uh, the developer sent me a little box of horror-like elements, and one of them was a big Junji Ito-style book. But I'm not getting paid for this. It's a game I had my eye on recently, as more and more people have begun to speak of it. And so I figured I'd play a little bit of it. And it would be the first of the next three games in the three trilogy type of game style that I do, if that makes any sense. Where what I do is I play one or two episodes worth of a particular game, and then I leave it up to my director tier patrons which one gets another handful of episodes and we get to see what else other stories can be told or what else has to do with that game. And this is the first. The way I'm going to do it is do uh, two new games and then whatever the second place game was of the previous round, that will make it in one more time in the next round following, and then I'll do that for every single round thereafter. So, I don't know what to expect if this game's actually scary or not, so let's just dive into some world of horror with a new story. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes and display modes to choose from. Uh, I'm good with the way it looks for now. It looks kind of like a, an old style, like Apple II game. I used to play a lot of those when I was growing up, uh, especially in the, in school where we'd have like an Apple II or a Mac or something in the back and we'd play old, old games and we had plenty that looked like this because I'm, I'm just old. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. If that's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with Spine Chilling Story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. And already this, this song has just got a little jam to it. All right, let's just do it. Let's start from the top and see what the heck this is all about. A tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats, like boobies and bathing suits on faceless women. Also Satan signs. Those come in hand in hand with, with boobies, don't you understand? It's just how it works in the modern world. Old gods, malicious, eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Well, that's a lot different than what I thought was going on. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, You'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Okay then. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Is it like where the begin where it all begins, or is where the world just comes to an end? Okay. Welcome to World of Horror. Impressive important messages will appear here. Thank you. The story so far, let's click on this. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time and you can't rest until our town is safe. What, what? What skin hag at what nursery? Start the mystery? Cauterize, what is going, what am I supposed, level one, level zero? You don't have enough experience to do what? I want combat tutorial on, please. Is this my character? I have assumed it's 17 stamina and 17 reason? Strength seven, dex five, perception eight, knowledge seven, charisma six, four, F Finland? Maybe Finland doesn't like him that much and he likes doom a lot. Items, status. Okay, so that's spells. Okay, spells, items, we have none right now. None at all, no weapon, nothing. No status and options don't have to worry about. Okay. Start the mystery? 
Spine chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumored has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. Whatever that means. Okay. Investigate this mystery. I mean, sure, but what's this do? You knew your friend was up to something when he left you the notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared, too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that you can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What is the worst that could happen? Okay. So this woman is coming back in your buddy in high school, instead of like watching Dragon Ball Z or playing on the Super Nintendo, uh, decided to take that world into his hands and try and stop this undead threat. And now that's what we're going to do, because logic is not something that apparently is in Japan at all. Maybe it's a culture thing. Okay, we're going to investigate this mystery, I guess. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. This requires the Chiluminati in me, actually. I got this. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Okay, we can do this. Access storage, explore the school, perform ritual, and check out the school lockers. Okay. Um, do we have anything in storage? We have friend's diary. I'm taking it. Give me that. Give me it. You've retrieved an item from the storage. I don't know. Can we take this knife? How about the knife? If we just put the knife in our weapon slot, we'll be all right. Is that like a baby from from Death Stranding? Q Dean putting it there for the rest of while we're here. I like how we actually have some sort of like actual weapons, but there's like we can't actually do anything with it. It's actually useless to us. Great. Alright, I'm taking the friend's diary. We'll go back. Hello, silhouette. Oh! Oh! Oh? Oh. There's a window over here. I don't like that. Why is that necessary? Okay. Uh, I guess we gotta explore the school and find the stuff that my friend left around. Oh, we're exploring. Hello? Okay, what the hell just happened? What happened? You must hurry and find those items. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You, you don't, you don't say. Um, okay. Am I not? Check out the school lockers. Go to the lockers. Okay. We've got some that we can click on. What's in this one? A baseball bat. Can I please? Can I take it? Okay, can I? Equip. It's there. Do I have it? Oh. Okay, that's just Satan's vagina. No, thank you. Ooh, yeah, what's that? You need a tiny key. So do I have a wooden bat? Damage 4, speed 80, chance to hit 70. Slightly dusty. Fine. I can't do anything. Storage, inspect it. Baseball bat used by the school's team. Okay. Equip, place this item in its equipment slot. I guess we have it. Alrighty. Well, I can click on that. It doesn't do anything. Get me out. Explore the school some more. Why not? The last was, okay, hey. You look like sweaty and a little bit wavy now that I look at you a little bit too closely. And you know, what my mom always said about wavy women wave back and move on. 
A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? I want to say hell no. But what if I say no when she gets mad and she attacks me? So let's say yes. Help her. Luck check success. The creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind, a classic for lessons. Uh, right about now. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Plus five experience resolved this event. Thank you. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. Can I read the diary? Oh, there's something I can't even read there. Okay. Uh, Maru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. Let's hope not. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will perform the ritual. And then that's all crossed out. This The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines? Great. What happens if I'm not careful with the lines? Friend who disappeared trying to solve the demonic mystery of your local high school like a Scooby-Doo gang, except you're dead now? All right, let's peek outside. That can't go wrong. To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Okay. Okay, let's go look at the pool instead. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you're looking for? I mean, we don't have much left and I don't like that it's called Dead Man's Float. Uh, let's go ahead and move in, I guess, and enter the water. Oh, it's damp smelling. Eh. You enter the pool and start swimming toward the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Prepare for combat. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Oh! Uncle Jimmy, what the hell are you doing in this game, dude? During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. B. Is that... Okay, that's B. I don't see... Is that... that this is over here? Once you've filled the sequence bar, C. Press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. So that's the sequence bar? What's A then? What's A and D? Okay. Kick? I can switch my actions? Okay. Kick, 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 kick. I can't kick anymore. Launch sequence. Kick, kick, kick. Okay. Hua, hua, hua. You punch the bloated teacher a couple times. I said kick, but okay. Well, you know what? We're not picky here. We're trying not to die. Bloated teacher, teacher hits you. With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter. A. Okay, that's over here. But first, you need a weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. I have a baseball bat. Okay, hang on. Support actions. Look for an improvised weapon. It eats up 120. A launch sequence. Find me an imp. I'm all right. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to understand the combat. Launch it. I got a broken bottle. Turn three begins. Look, a new item has appeared in the upper right hand corner. That's your inventory. Click it and find equip highlighted button. Okay, fine. I'll click it. And then I'll click it. And now we have a broken bottle equipped. What are we going to do now? We're going to slash a fool with a strong attack with our broken bottle. Going to cut open his bloated gut and watch it spill across the floor and gather what we need while lapping up the innards on the of our fallen foe. Strong attack. Attack with our weapon. And then... Launch sequence. We did double cut. With four and three health. I don't know how we're doing here. Um, 
Your next attack has an additional 10% chance to hit. This effect stacks. So why don't we do three of these, and then a big boy, and then a punchy boy. Kick. Yeah, 200. Perfect. We focus. What? We did four. Boom! We kicked him into the pool. After we slice him up a bit, a bunch, and he's stepping up, stepping back, bleeding, trying to cover his wounds, hold them together. Just as he's at the edge of the pool, we just throw our foot down like this is Sparta style, 300, and just kick him in. Gaining seven experience like all high school kids do when they kill Uncle Jimmy. You found the blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in, the, in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. I see it. Okay. I, uh, I can redraw the symbol. Hang on. That, is that the symbol I want? That looks terrible. No. It needs to be not that. It needs to be just like one triangle. Here. That, that's, Mr. You did a terrible fucking job. Is all I'm gonna say. Okay, it needs to be kind of like bent to the right. Like that. Yeah, we got the line, and then we just need the one triangle on the bottom. I don't know if that's it. It's close. I am tempted to go with it, but we'll double check one more time. Yeah, that was our best one. Okay, that's what we need. Now, perform the ritual. <laughs> The ritual is not ready. Okay, well, what else do we need? <laughs> Access your storage? Nope. Nothing here. I guess we gotta explore the school some more. So we're gonna keep going and checking out the classroom. You've encountered trophy case. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Uh, need tiny key item. Check plaques and trophies. Let's just read it first. Luck success. Huh. It seems the person involved with the current case was a prize winning swimmer. Good. You found uh, the sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Perform the ritual. I don't know what else you want me to get, homie. Um, candles? Where are the candles? What was that? Did you see that? Did you see that on the screen? You carefully enter the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Mother brain? Excuse me, forgotten specimen? Um, uh, I guess we're going to swing at you with the broken bot. No, no, no. Clear, clear. We're going to focus, 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 swing, kick. Everything in the classroom starts to wave. That just means you smoked a little bit too much. You're fine. Uh, getting into zero wins the encounter. After each sequence, enemies perform an attack draining your stamina, reason, or both. Oh, he's he's hitting our stamina. Okay. Bum bum bum. Swing. Kick. Go. Okay. We're gonna get him this turn. This is no this is no this is no brain no easy, no brainer. That's what we call short circuiting in the brain. But that's okay, it happens. Yeah, damn right we deep we beat it. Now pick it up. We got the lump of flesh. Oh, I was hungry. Thank you, lump of flesh. Medicine Eldridge plus five stamina. Flip this card. It's undulating slowly. Well, I'd like to flip it. Slimy and smelly. What's that? I don't want to use it yet. I just want to take it. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? Uh, um, 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 uh, 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 uh. Please stop banging on the window. I will click continue. 
Hang on. Hello. Wow, you are... Wow. A lot of thoughts came through my head. None of them appropriate for YouTube. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Prepare for combat, I guess? I'm gonna use the lump of flesh. What does it do? Am I just a broken man now? Did I break myself? Spells? Stats? Concussion? Cursed signs? I have a concussion. Casting, casting spells raises doom. Charred skin forms weird signs. We're fine, guys. We're absolutely fine. We're just trying to finish our friend's work because we're a good friend. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Yeah, girl. I'll give you a click, uh, clear smoochums. 20 HP. You do minus two to all. That scares me. Let's see what happens. Launch sequence. Okay. Turn two begins. We're all right. This hasn't failed me yet. Eight. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. We win, baby. Scissor woman, you're done. We got a slit mouth? Minus one charisma and strength. Yeah, she cut our mouth open. Wow, rude. Whoa. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. Hey, they didn't die. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Spine chilling story of school scissors ending A. So I guess there was other ways we could have gone about that. Maybe there are other things I could have explored uh, and different ways to have, have gone about it. But I don't know if this is all random. Um, that was just kind of the tutorial though. The horror is over for now. Equipped broken bottle, incoming doom 5%. Your play, play, playthrough lasted 20 minutes. It's not the only mystery playing, plaguing this town. You must continue your investigation. Yeah, they all lead into one another and there's like weird stuff going on. And again, your choices, I think, matter in, in terms of uh, how you get an ending and uh, what you end up fighting. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. So. I don't know if I'll do another one or not, but this is game one. <laughs> of the next three games that might have a little potential here on the channel to explore a little further. I hope you enjoyed, and if you're a patron, keep this one in mind when the poll pops up. One down, two more to go. I'll see you next time.